All right, everybody, welcome back to the LTA show. I'm your host, Felix, and I got Devin, I got Kaden. What's up? Welcome back, gentlemen. Uh, I don't think you've actually met in person. Not on no, the pod. I mean, we, we have met in person, just not on the podcast. <laughs> yeah, we're That's complete strangers. Like, <laughs> the last Who time. are you? Oh, my God. Um, your name was Jade, 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 Aiden. Yeah, Aiden. close enough. Yeah. Aiden and Evan. Know. <laughs> well, so what I meant was like, cause you guys did the special. Mm-hmm. Did the, the two year? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was in the dorm at Santa Cruz. Yes. And then, and then we had we had Andrew, but he's not here. But yeah. Did some Pokemon earlier. Yes, New set. You'll see mm, that. You'll it was very fun. <laughs> <laughs> you'll, you'll see that on there. It was a fantastic set. Um, really competitive matches. Yes, uh, previously me and Devin did a segment of Memory Lane, kind of like what we did as uh, as children, like TV shows, what we watched. Uh, I think we went over that. And mm-hmm. then movies? No, Somewhat. It was a little bit of that, and then like some candy or like food that we were familiar with. And songs? Did we do songs? We did some songs, but not really. We didn't touch upon music that much. Song, and then... Did we do video games? We, we did. Games. We did... I don't think we did as much. I and think hobbies? we did, did, like, Pokemon. It was more like, so what did like, you do as a kid? Like, just what did you do? Okay. Much. So, yeah, like, what what did... What, what's Caden <sighs> child? Uh, so, I regained sentience at, like, four-ish years old. Nice. You know, I was living in a black void, and all of a sudden my brain turned on. I'm like, oh, memories. I, I know stuff. Um, okay. Hmm. Earliest, like, show-wise, I can think of cartoon-wise, I watched a lot of Dora the Explorer. We love that. Didn't yeah. learn any Spanish from it. Not at all. No, almost none, but still <laughs> watched it. Oh, <laughs> we got that down. Um, the main thing I can think of is I had a... VHS set of the original Star Wars movies. That's pretty dope. So I watched, and then I had a VHS player in my room, so I watched um, New Hope, Empire Strikes Back, and then Return of the Jedi over and over and over again. Wait, so you have those three? Yeah, those three. Okay. Um, at that point, I didn't even know there were prequels yet. I just oh. watched the original. Because the prequels, <laughs> they are what they are. They're, they're a special... Well, they're not like the sequels. <laughs> yeah. Um, I remember I watched that like a bajillion times. Okay. Um, Those three. But what else was on VHS? It was... Um, my dad recorded another VHS set when you could record stuff off TV mm-hmm. onto things. Yeah. It was... It was like about big construction working stuff. And like, so like how excavators. it was excavators. <laughs> no, he's right. Cranes. What? How they work on a construction site. So like, they're like demolition type stuff. And like, like jackhammers and like jackhammers and stuff and like that. I remember I watched that. Bulldozers. Yeah, I think I watched that stuff over and over again. And I'm like, wow, this is amazing. Didn't go into construction whatsoever. Um, Every machinery for the win. Shout out to like, construction workers. Um, what else? Uh, cartoon wise besides Dora because Dora was like the, the earliest man. one yeah. I can think of once I got into actually being a kid Dragon Tales? I did not watch Dragon Tales Dragon Tales? Dragon Tales Dragon Tales that's the come along and take my hand it's a <laughs> he knows dragon it. Land. He knows it. <laughs> you gotta touch the scale you gotta touch the scale he knows anyway. it um, I watched a lot of Cartoon Network so I yes. watched Ed and Eddie yes Cow- Courage Cowardly Dog yes. what am I biking? um Code name Kids Next, Kids Next Door. Kids Next Door. Um, Sam Foster's Sam Home Jack. Imaginary Friends. Was Samurai Jack on Cartoon Network at all? For the oh, first? Yes. For the I think first. Samurai Jack was yeah. initially at least. That was like I don't remember that was in the s- evening. That was definitely like more nighttime. I feel because it had some darker comments. Yeah, because yeah, because then at some point, uh, it from Cartoon Network it becomes adult swim. Adult swim, yeah. And, and tsunami, I yeah. remember, yeah, Toonami as well. Because I remember Naruto came on once, yes. and I'm like, oh, let's watch this. And then something game. happens, and they're throwing knives and they're killing people, and I'm like, I don't want to watch this anymore, <laughs> and I just turned it off. Is it better than just screaming in Dragon Ball? 
<laughs> didn't watch Dragon Ball. Oh. Naruto was the only one that I oh. remember pops up like oh. immediately right from I think it was like the 9 p.m. to the 10 p.m. Right See, when it hit 10 p.m. that's when it switched over. Switch over to anime. Mm -hmm. yeah. mm -hmm. um, Dexter's Laboratory? Yes. Do you remember one? Dexter's? Yes. Um, but you, did you watch Ben 10 on Cartoon Network? Yes. yes. I, watched ben 10. Ben 10 I feel like Ben 10's like... OG Ben 10 was... was I guess the OG one. Whenever I think of Ben 10, I think it's like right... The first thing after all of the original yes. stuff. It was like but at the same the time, time originals. Yeah, originals were still perspective wise. Well, Boomerang was the technically the stuff that got moved to Boomerang was Cartoon Network before, wasn't it? Yeah, I think Boomerang so. was like Flintstones, um, Yogi Bear, Jetsons, stuff like that. We didn't grow up on that. I mean, you could have, but I didn't as much. You might have I remember some. Oh, Tom and Jerry. Tom and Jerry. I watched that a yes. lot. Yes, had that on DVD. Popeyes, some of his old stuff. I watched but, a lot of Tom and Jerry. Oh. Um, but did you watch it when he was named something else? Like there was another name that you had for him, like Jasper or something. Like I don't Jasper think so. It was like I, different I remember it always being Tom, Tom and Jerry. He, yeah, he always had like the navy blue coat with like the white uh, paws and whatnot. But it was the same exact design, but a different animation style. It was like slightly older. Mm. I don't know why it was called that. But same as the concept of cat and mouse. Mm. So yep. there's still Jerry. There was just a different Tom, I guess. I guess. Well, oh, what about Looney Tunes? Anything? Anybody? Those? No? Not yeah, really. I feel like Looney Tunes that. was... Before. I mean, I would see like, like reruns. Yeah. Maybe. But that or wasn't like, like the main thing that was Chip constantly on. Or like the no. Duck series, like DuckTales. That's all on like Disney Channel. Something like that. Or... Because I don't remember... Like Nickelodeon, I feel like came later for... I mean, for uh, like for me at least. Like I remember I Nickelodeon, like Nickelodeon was SpongeBob was like, and... Um, 2008? And, um, Rugrats. Rugrats was Nickelodeon. Um, yeah, but Rugrats is like old yeah. Nickelodeon. I think his first SpongeBob was I want to say oh, 2000. No, SpongeBob is not. No, SpongeBob's early 90s. Was it really? the OG SpongeBob with the older animation style? Yeah. Was it really? And then he kept just getting more like square and more like yeah. uniform and less funny. I always think first season SpongeBob is like. The best. Like, comparison to everything it's else. the best memes. It's the best references. It's like the actual funny stuff. It doesn't rely on like weird animation styles. <laughs> the actually because like stuff. now SpongeBob. I'd hate to be that guy, but SpongeBob now is kind of weird. Yeah, just all, not all just because we're older, but like the actual like animation. But like I respect animators, but like the way that they animate the reactions now in SpongeBob just feel a little more grotesque. Yeah, I feel like it's definitely changed a lot more. It's exaggerated. I don't want to say exaggerated. I'm gonna use this word. It's gonna sound weird. I'd say more explicit. Yes, I do. I understand. Like what you're the saying. one I can think of is like, you know, you have OG SpongeBob. He gets zapped. You see a skeleton, <laughs> but he's fine and whatnot. And then I think of the newer SpongeBob when he gets the splinter in his thumb. More realistic. And it shows <laughs> in. It's all pussy and oozy, and I'm like, Ooh, no one wants to see that. And he tries biting it off, yeah. and he rips himself, and it's a skeleton. I'm like, <sighs> it's still, I guess, like. It's cartoonish humor yeah. still. It's like, hey, Spongebob can't get the Spongebob. I mean, He'd be uh, funny. But at the same time, it's like you did a close-up shot yes. to show ooze. Of, like you see yeah. red around it, so you assume it's the blood. blood. Yeah. It's like kind of gross. Like the only ones before yeah. that really did that were like the Spongebob episode where I think Plankton went into his brain. You actually saw the brain being like knocked around. But like there was no blood involved in that. And then like the other one was the Halloween one where he got shaved to be a ghost. But then like when he took it off. He's, it's the eyeballs and the, the brain, better, yeah. Yeah, and the nose and the face, yeah. So those are like the closest to like actual horror, body horror and Spongebob, <laughs> but now it's, it's like it's a weird, weird. It's a weird thing to explain, like it is more explicit now. Yeah. And they can do a lot more It was more, more stuff explicit word-wise and like actual content-wise for before, but now it's the actual animations itself that are becoming more and more. As animation increases and like everything becomes more detailed, you can see all the... Oh, I guess it's man. just society's tolerance to uh, yeah. more graphic content. It needs more. The, the table the episode, Squidward drops the table. Like, oh, on his toe and, and it rips this, it off? Like yes. Like that. I was like, oh. Uh, now it's, now it's, now it's, now you see what, you see what I'm way, watching? Yeah. They, that wasn't in OG Spongebob. Now, now, now if Squidward like mm. dropped on his toe, you see a red bump, but it'd be like, like an exaggerated it, yeah. red bump. And it showed like throbbing yeah. icons. But it wouldn't be... You don't see the nail actually crack, <laughs> yeah. and then rip a pinkish tendon off of his yeah. foot. You won't. You won't see the hangnail come off too. Uh, you, think, you think though, like 
beginning, it was like kind of similar to Tom and Jerry because you know, like the bump. Yeah, the, the slapstick bump. comedy was definitely a big thing. Like that's why Patrick was like super popular. But then episodes, I feel like, like the future episode or not the future, the time machine one where it's Squidward as the future. Future. Yeah. I feel like hey, man, yeah, that's like but a he but he remember gets ground or not ground up, but um. It deals with abstract concepts, but also like oh, when he's in the room, he's like, yeah, in the can opener room, hello. Yeah. and then he's stuck with the world. And everyone's like, "Oh, that's fine." Yeah. And as a kid, you're like, "Oh, that's fine." He's alone, but as an abstract context, like if you were in a white space with nothing, with in nothing, void. you're gonna go crazy. And this white void, <laughs> ah, I'm good. Get me out of here. That was like that was like I think that that was when I saw that and it was like. Fifth grade, and I was like, "Man, that's trippy, yeah, <laughs> trippy grade, stuff." Uh, um, let's see what else. What else can you think of? What about like food or like candy? Like, did you have like nerds or were you like a Snickers or Twix or? I like, what eat, Halloween like, for childhood Halloween, Caden? What I did you dress up as, and what candies did you prioritize? So I remember back in elementary school, I dressed up as a Hobbit from Lord of the Rings. We love that. I also dressed up as. Indiana Jones, nice. also Kevin dressed Harrison. up as a Phantom of the Opera, no. and it's very like just up as grown a grown-up costumes. I feel. Like. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I was like, I was a lion. You could say the actual I was a character. I, I was a pirate once. Okay, I was a pirate too. Um, That's fair. When Pirates came out, oh my gosh, that was insane with the loot. Oh, that that one, that, 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 that's that, it. That, I can't think of any other costumes, really. Darth Vader? No Star Wars? No, no Star, Star Wars? Wars? I didn't dress it. Yeah, no, ironic. I watched the what hell of Star hell? Wars. And I didn't no, you got your I had a Stormtrooper mask, actually. But I don't think I actually did a no, full costume don't. for yeah, Halloween. But they they don't allow masks, usually, even in elementary school anymore. Um, yeah, the closest I got was like the Nacho Libre mask, but I had to take it off. Well, Phantom of the Opera was only this area mm -hmm. right here, only your eyes. It's almost like a superhero, like a um, yeah, like a super, like a superhero mask. Mm -hmm. um, that's all I can think of. As for candy wise, I eat everything. Fair. The oh, only thing I remember didn't. not eating were mounds. Oh, because those are Coca just... coconut, almond, and chocolate. That's why I didn't drink almond joys for me. I never mound mounds is the dark chocolate, and yeah. I think almond joy is the the nope. milk chocolate mm -hmm. version. That's why I was what? like almond joys. I never, I never. Did, as a kid, yeah, did like not like. Joy? Did not. No, well, the main thing was the consistency of the coconut. Yes, because it's not cooked. It's uncooked coconut. Well, shredded. the main thing was like it was shredded yes. up into like little squares, and then they, like... and then they compressed it into a cube. Yeah. And, and then the surface covered. area was just. Ugh. I didn't like that. Nowadays, I mean, I it's just, fine. I yeah. eat it regardless, just because I eat anything. But I remember that was a candy I avoided. Like if I yeah. got it, I'd be like, for sure. You want it? Like trade, trade. Here you go. Uh, for free. <laughs> um, no, it was the weird gummies for me that like never like the weird ones that us? are shaped in like no, it was like um where they were shaped in like skeletons. It was like the basic gummy ones, but like it's like those gummy hamburgers. Uh, I know. Like those, I don't. I didn't like those. I like uh, all the other gummies like. Like gummy bears are fine, or like any other gummy candies, or like sour gummies, are especially. Yeah, fine gummy teeth. I remember. Yeah, those gummy teeth are knotted for me. I remember <laughs> getting those, but. Mm, gummy teeth. I don't know if I got those that often, but as a kid, I'm just like, I don't like this. Or as a kid, I'm like, I love this. Yeah. It was like every so often, no, I'd, yeah. I'd get it and be like, oh, I ate it. It's sugar. Exactly. I just it's need like, it. it'll fuel me. Um, I developed the love of. I always, I always get it mixed up. It's either Red Vines or Twizzlers. I love one, and oh I hate the, I really I hate the other one. Are you talking about that I, giant silk? So, the, so you know, the tub is Red, red Vines. Vines? I think I like Red Vines. Yes, Twizzlers is with. not it. Twizzlers, I have to say, but it's shifted when I grew up. Because I grew up in a chess club, and we <laughs> they just bought the giant tub of Red Vines just for us to like snack on. And so like I remember those, and those are like very core memory. But then, like... I remember thinking Twizzlers, like, oh, these little dinky things and, like, two little things and, like, a little wrapper, that sucks. I'd rather have a Sour Patch, because the Sour Patch had the same thing. It, or, no, Sour Punch. They had, like, little tubes that yeah. were, like, the sour on the yeah. outside. Those are way better than Twizzlers. Yeah. So I just thought Twizzlers were trash. But now, like, I looking back on it, like, Red Vines are... I feel like they're nasty when I, the older you get, because, like, the older they... Sh the longer they sit on the shelf, 
the texture just so they get tougher. Yes, they get, they get stale <laughs> they get and tough. Brittle almost, and I'm like, ah, that doesn't feel good biting in. And well, yeah, you get red vine when you oh, fresh red vine is just like fresh red vine, mm, mm-hmm. regular, and good. then a stale red vine is. Yeah, <laughs> and maybe the two thousand. You don't know. Yeah. You know it's bad when the color's fading. Oh you just God. Take one Yeah, bite. it starts becoming like a paler. Yeah. <laughs> no, did you ever get a black licorice for Halloween? I did Heck one no. or twice. Like That's I never. A crime. That was. I got black licorice recently, I... and they're like, "Yeah, it's sweet licorice." I was driving, and they bought licorice, and they're like, "Hey, you want some sweet licorice?" I went, "Sure." I put black. my hand out like that. They gave it to me, and I went. And oh. Immediately, I went. Mm. This wasn't sweet. They're like, what are you talking about? What it's betrayal sweet. is it's this? It's like sweet licorice. I'm just like, okay. <laughs> I'm not going to take we, this And once we park, I see the package. It's black licorice. I'm like, ugh. It's mm, disgusting. I don't get it. I don't get it. I don't. I don't see the appeal. I'm sorry for those who like it. Congratulations. It's, 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 it's a unique taste. I'm good. And then, like, they leave. It's sugar, it's, but then it, like, leaves a stain on your teeth anyway with the coloring as it's well. It's like... So it's, it's not just a sour taste. It's I don't, not. I don't know it's how a. Describe. It's just a taste that you don't want. It's a know. bad taste. That's it's a it bad is. lingering taste. Like oh. tar, or like it gives yeah. that. Oh. Kind of, it, it, I don't know. That's the first thing. Tar it because of the tar because of the blackness, the black steamy ooze. <laughs> <laughs> it just it just feels like it shouldn't. It's not like like natural, you know. Like, like what can you compare black? Like it, it had to be <laughs> modified, man. Red licorice, but red licorice is it's good. It's actually good. <laughs> um. Funny you mentioned chess club. Oh God! <laughs> Kindergarten, first yep. grade, second grade, third grade, fourth grade, fifth grade, sixth grade, and seventh grade. I stopped eighth grade. I think I beat you because I went K through eight. I chess? stopped. I stopped yeah. eighth grade. You did chess. You I did. didn't. I wasn't good, like, but I competed. I went all the way to Stockton like for tournaments. tournaments for both of you. Yeah. Uh, mm. What was your rating? Did you ever get? I one? didn't do like an actual official mm. tournament type just stuff. Club it was just club at. Stuff uh, in school. I did. I did tournaments in mm-hmm. while in there. Yeah. yeah. Um, it was always for okay. So for elementary school wise, it was always the exact same people. Yeah. It was me, and it was Udi, and that was it. We would always be the finalists. Wow. And Just I the remember. Two smart kids battling it out. Yeah. I remember yeah. we always did. You do once it gets close to the end of the year, then you have the tournament yep. and whatnot, and you play. I remember. The reward was always the same thing. It was a thing of peeps. And it was always me and Udi. I want to say I won like kindergarten and first grade. But then after that, he just And then second, no, actually, second grade to fifth grade, it was a stalemate. Every Whoa. single time, really, we'd like always draw? we'd always finish with like a king, a king, and like and that was it. That was the that last what, thing. We each happens. had a king, yeah. and that was it. And Sometimes you can't win it's if very hard. Yeah, a few times I won because I had a king and a pawn. Yeah. I'm just like you are going out. to stay next to this king if you want to survive. <laughs> Literally, but I remember one of the times we did it, we stalemated. And they're like, all right, well, club's over. We don't have to decide it. We can decide it next time. And we go again. It's another stalemate. So like, all right, we can decide it next time. <laughs> it's another stalemate. And the guy just goes, you want to split win. the peeps? Yeah. And Udi and I are just like, yeah, yes. sure. Why didn't you do that the first time? He's like, oh. and then, <laughs> And then sixth grade, um, there was another tournament. But this time, because it was like middle school, there's actually a lot more kids. Mm. Um, it, we had, the final three got different chess sets. Got it. So I actually still have mine. I got second, I think. Nice. I lost. And uh, the teacher at the time was just like, she liked me a lot. She's mm-hmm. like, I know you lost. But here. But the second place chess set, in my opinion, is probably the best one out of all of Was it like a glass one or was it like It, a... it was glass. Hey, and then the, new. it was... Cool. Like one of the pieces of glass, and then the other one is like the the stained glass. It's like misty white yes. glass. Yeah. So one's like the misty white, one's like the darker one. One was clear. One was clear, and one was the misty one's white. One's the misty I white. I do got yeah. that one. Third place yeah. got a wooden set, and first place. I want the wooden set on diamond. I don't even remember what. I don't know. I don't, know, I don't even remember, remember what first place was. Metal. Some metal one, honestly. That I would think been. metal. It seems heavier though. But I don't know if the teacher would go all the way to buy. A yeah, metal set. But I don't I mean, remember. I feel like it was... How can you beat glass? Acrylic? No. No. 
It must have been something like... Unless it was like third place was the normal plastic. Yeah. Second place was glass. And then first place is like a nice wood finish but one. I, I want a nice wood one. I'm not going to lie. Because the glass ones I feel like I break too easily. This is true. Carrying it home, I'm just like... <laughs> Do not break it on the way home. But I think this, the second place one was a lot better. And then seventh grade, I showed up. I did it a few times. And then at that point, I'm just like, mm, I think I'm done with it. That's fair. I'm going to move away yeah. from it, hang out with my friends more often. Because yeah. because no, none of my friends... Did chess club? No. Because from elementary school to middle school, mm -hmm. I went to a completely different middle school. That makes sense. Completely different area. Yeah. So, I still kept in touch with them, of course. but none of them, I would have to make new friends at middle exactly. school, which so. is what I did, mm -hmm. and none of them did chess. No. So I'm just like, well now I want to form all these friend groups now, so you can carry with them to high school, and that's your, that's your thing. Yeah. So I did that. Um, sixth grade, I found a friend group. It was Gary, Tyler, <laughs> Kyle, and there was another kid named Zai. Um, he was from China, I think, but he mm. left seventh grade, I think. Mm. Um, seventh grade was still the same friend group, and then eighth grade was when we merged the two friend groups, and we had a big, big, probably like posse, twelve-ish people, Dang. all together. That's a whole round table. <laughs> yep. Yeah. But we had a. There were benches mm. set up, and we just claimed two of them. The, like not even two, just one. It's weird how they set up. So you have like a hallway, okay. and then in the alcove, it's like um, a trapezoid cutout. Got it. So there's a bench that's in the middle, a bench that's angled on the side, and oh, another bench that's angled on the side. side. And we took all, all three, three of them, and we just claimed that alcove. That's kind of cool. Time. Just mob that place. Mm -hmm. yeah. That was eighth grade. Um, See, so yeah, that was. So I did chess for a good portion of time. I have a normal plastic set. I have the glass set, mm -hmm. and then I have a Lego set as well. Lego set? Like you build the Lego pieces and then you um, build them? It was, you built the pieces together, but they were as Lego knights. Mmm, that's cool. That's, I think I remember that series about and the And then Lego you knights. put them in on the spot because it's mm -hmm. of course it's a Lego cut out yeah. and whatnot. Um, speaking of Lego, that was like my main toy. That, me and Bionicles. But so, yeah, yep, Bionicles, Bionicles. I still have yep. a bunch of mine. They're in, Wait, which they're in acrylic. The one where they roll or the one where they like the actual stand-up ones that um, have the ones? There was one that was like, I don't one rolls, like it formed into like a more, it was almost like a droidica from Star Wars, but like more spherical. Mm -hmm. So a little thicker, instead of like a wheel, it was more like a ball. Uh, I uh, remember, if, I could, oh, if I find a picture, I'll show you guys. I remember having the, the original mm -hmm. ones. Really? But not all of them. Much like we, the original like red one, green yeah. one, those Blue ones. One. I have, I want to say I have the red one. And I have the the yellow rock one. Yeah, and it's more like a brown I have range. yeah, it's like a brownish. And then I have the green one. Okay, so but the one I liked a lot was the white one. The white one was never red. got it. Yeah, I get that. But I collected by uncles for a good portion of time. I think I had the ball shooter one. Yes, and then I have a few. <laughs> I have a few which are the disc, the oh, spider the disc, disc shoot ones. ones. Yes, the clamp ones. Yeah. I have ones oh. which are. The last set I remember getting is, it was like a revolver, and they had red Six ones. shots, yeah. Yeah, the rubber ones. ones. Yes. Yeah. I remember, I remember doing that we one. We got those, actually, I think some of them came from McDonald's, if I'm not mistaken. I think a few There was a did. version of them. Yeah. It was an easier version. Um, and then there was one more. It was also a ball, but it was, it was a spiky ball, and there was spiky. a black bit that went around, like, the red diameter it was like a of it. Yeah, right. there's a specific black ridge, and you have to put it in just that way. Because with the other, like, ball ones, yes. it's just a plastic ball. Yeah. You can put it in just whatever and shoot it. The other one was you had to set it in a certain way. Yes, it was it like spikes on the spikes. Side. And, was it a gold ball with a rub, black rubber? Yeah, right. Yep. Yeah, I know that's that. the one. Oh. Um, I remember the comics for those. They were actually pretty nice. Like I bad. had the video game on GameCube. GameCube? Wait, yeah. the one where you have to hop from the lava rocks or like there's the rolly section yes. and you have to dodge them? I do. Yes, yeah. I remember that. I had to I, ask my cousins to help me beat it. I played that I one so much. I, I want to say that was like the only video game I was close to 100%ing without like... Achievements or like really? like online forums yeah. being like, yo, if you hundred percent the exactly. game, you get that. It was just a game where I'm just like, yeah, I, I wanna, it. I wanna complete it. Yeah, 
I never did. I got very close though. What, like 98%? I want to say like 88% yeah. That's of like all collectible. Because you have to redo certain levels exactly. as the bosses that you beat. Mm. Because then they unlock different paths. Exactly. And you unlock Because of their stuff. elements, yeah. Interesting. And you have to level up your character. A certain, and then yeah. when you level them up, you get different gadgets and whatnot. Mm, I'm trying to remember what else on the GameCube I played. That SpongeBob one where it's like a multiplayer where like they compete in games. And yeah, that was. I did Spyro. Spyro. I'm my cousin. But I also played Spyro on the original PlayStation. Yes. Because I have older siblings. Mm -hmm. They got all the consoles. Yeah, and then when they're the done consoles. with it, they're like, here you go. And we're going to put it in the closet. And then Caden goes to the closet and he's like, Why? I'm going to hook, hook this up and play it. So yeah, I remember playing Spyro a lot. We got a minute left. A minute left. Uh, Spyro, Rage of Reptar, You're the Dragon. And then on GameCube, it was Spyro, A New Beginning. And that was like new Spyro. Yeah. 3D, more the 3D one looking. Remember. Yeah. Yeah. Like um, the actual sprite of Spyro. Yeah. Mm -hmm. so, yeah. I'm trying to think of another game on GameCube. Uh, there was like a. 30 seconds? Like a robot one where you got to customize a bunch of robots. It wasn't Gundam, it was, um, it was some robot game. I Need for know. Speed. I played a lot of Need for Speed. GameCube and PlayStation. I don't, I, I don't PlayStation think I actually 3. raced any. I didn't even race any games. That was my origin of my racing spirit. I was gonna say, I was like, that makes sense for you, origin story. Yo. Ten seconds. Alright. Do you want an outro? Yeah, or you can Felix. Kaden? Sweet, thanks for having me on the show. <laughs> on this holiday trip. Always a pleasure. There's more to it, but we're out of time. <laughs>